What is toxic shock syndrome? In life, you will find that some people are terrified of tampons, and it's not exactly without reason. Oftentimes, their fear stems from concerns related to toxic shock syndrome. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about what it is, when it came about, and how to reduce your risk of getting it. My name is Dr. Shars Chambers, and I educate any and everyone on topics of reproductive health. If you'd like to watch more videos just like this one, don't forget to subscribe. Now, let's hop right in. Toxic shock syndrome is a very serious illness that is not truly caused by tampons, but by bacteria, Staph aureus, that produces a deadly toxin. Tampons happen to provide the perfect environment for the bacteria to live and grow, but 50% of toxic shock cases are not related to menstruation. Toxic shock syndrome gained national attention in the 1980s. It was an illness of healthy young women with a strikingly high death rate. More than 800 cases occurred. Just prior to this in 1975, Procter & Gamble introduced the Rely tampon, a super absorbency tampon that was created to be worn for an entire menstrual cycle. An entire menstrual cycle. It was a tampon made of synthetic materials that was designed to expand both lengthwise and widthwise to fill the vagina and reduce leaks. Due to surveillance by the CDC and multiple studies, the association between toxic shock syndrome and tampons was discovered. It was also discovered that women who were diagnosed with toxic shock syndrome were more likely to use the superabsorbency tampons and use tampons exclusively. This super absorbency tampon was eventually pulled from the market in the 1980s. Regulations changed that required decreased tampon absorbency, standardized clear labeling of absorbency levels, and inclusion of tampon package inserts. With all of these changes, cases decreased to about one per 100,000. Although toxic shock syndrome is rare, it's still good to know the signs and symptoms. If you are menstruating and suddenly develop a fever, rash, nausea, vomiting, and muscle aches, the recommendation is to remove your tampon and seek evaluation at an emergency center. Toxic shock syndrome can progress rapidly, so medical attention should be sought immediately. To prevent toxic shock syndrome, it is recommended that you use the lowest absorbency tampon that you can, change your tampons at least every six to eight hours, wash your hands before inserting your tampon, avoid sleeping in tampons, and alternate between tampons and pads. Bottom line, toxic shock syndrome is very real, but very rare. The materials and designs that were highly associated with toxic shock are no longer used today. Tampons can be used safely, but should be used appropriately and in accordance with the package inserts. Finally, there is no evidence that organic tampons decrease the risk of toxic shock syndrome, so practice the same prevention techniques with those too. If you learned something new in today's video, please click that like button, comment, and share. My name is Dr. Shars Chambers. Thank you for watching.